All right, we're talking about um, muscular movement in this video, specifically the grip. Uh, doing this video for a Redditor that had a question. Um, sometimes it's called muscular movement. It's also people call it Palmer, the Palmer method. Uh, Palmer was one of the famous penmen that perhaps most popularized this type of penmanship uh, in the early 1900s. Uh, but Palmer, the Palmer method, muscular movement, it's all the same thing. It's generally applied to or associated with business penmanship, which is the type of script that all of these penmen taught in their books and in their uh, business colleges. Uh, but they all use the same type of movement, which is really widely known as muscular movement at the time. Uh, and then each person kind of had their own name that they gave it, like Palmer called it the Palmer method, which was really just a, a marketing technique. Uh, and what really signifies muscular movement is the fact that you don't use your fingers to write. So most people write like this with their hand down on the table, hand to the side, and then nothing moves. The finger moved, moves all the action of the pen. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but they didn't teach it that way because in those times they were trying to teach people to be penmen or to be work in fields where a lot of writing was required. And when you, if you ever noticed writing like this, uh, you tend to grip the pen very hard and your hand just gets tired and cramped after, you know, 10 minutes straight of writing or even less. Uh, now what they taught with muscular movement is all arm motion writing. So you can see as I'm moving the pen around, my fingers aren't moving. It's all coming from the pivot of my forearm. So right here is on the edge of my desk. And then I'm just pivoting around and kind of moving around on that, on that muscle, rolling around on that forearm muscle. And that gives me a lot of movement. I can move all the way from side to side. It's very difficult though, because you have to train larger muscles to do these small movements. So if you're just getting started, which this Redditor in this case sounds like he, is, he or she is just getting started, uh, he's, he has, they have no control uh, and that's very common. I think it took me, you know, maybe three months of doing this every day before I felt like, oh, I can make some letters they actually look like letters and I can actually move from side to side while writing. It's very difficult. Uh, now to look, zoom in on the grip a little bit. You want your finger uh, on top, your first finger on top of the pen. And this works for any type of pen. This is a dip pen. Um, you want your thumb on the side. It's kind of a an angle here, almost 90 degrees. Uh, and it's, this is all gonna change dependent on the size of your hand and your fingers. Everybody's a little different. Uh, so that this angle won't be the same on this, the crease in your thumb uh, for every single person. Uh, but you do want it up here on the pen more. You don't want it down here like this. And you definitely don't want this action with your first finger. You want this action. This type of angle going over, not like that. Uh, and then your second finger is gonna rest right beside the nail here at the end of the pen and curled just like the other one and all your fingers are going to be curled like that and what this promotes is a palm down uh, grip where the palm is facing down on the paper not to the side like this this is going to do nothing for you that's going to promote finger writing this promotes arm movement writing gives you a lot of freedom and uh, what I have here is you can't really see it with this angle but these two nails are kind of gliding on top of the paper very lightly this is a light pen approach, uh, a light pen pressure approach. Uh, you don't push hard into the paper. You literally just let the pen glide on top. And the reason they taught that as well is because of the materials they were using at the time. So this pen, this is the dip pen. The ink's going to float right off this pen when it touches the paper, which I'll do right now. Open up some ink. So I've put ink on my pen, which you can't really see that well, but... Uh, and I'll just do some circles across the page, some big ones. And you can clearly see my fingers are not moving at all as I do this. Very simple. It's very hard though. That's all I can stress to you. If you really want to undertake the Palmer, me Palmer method, muscular movement, you need a lot of discipline, a lot of perseverance, because it's basically like learning uh, 
to write again. But when you do learn, you can move pretty quickly across the page, which is really cool. All right, I'll leave it at that. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or on Reddit and we'll get it figured out.